Necessity is the mother of invention. We've heard it said, and we've certainly seen it in action. From the wheel to polio vaccines to wireless technology, we continue to be creative as we try to solve our personal needs and the needs of our global society. The electric car. We've all heard about it being the car of the future. In reality, the future is here, with thousands of Americans already taking to the road in battery-powered electric or hybrid vehicles. And with concerns growing over oil dependence, the effects of CO2 emissions on the environment, as well as skyrocketing gas prices, it is becoming more and more apparent that transportation as we know it has to change. As a result, an increasing number of consumers are looking to get plugged into the electric car movement. We're seeing a renewed wave of interest in, in the electric vehicle, and that's brought on by the sharply rising price in fuel. Over the past few years, we've seen automakers, in some cases, committing deeply to the electric vehicle, responding to consumer interest. And consumers are interested primarily for cost saving. However, there is an overpowering interest to clean up the earth. And uh, the electric vehicle can presumably solve both problems. Electric cars are nothing new, however. Over the last 15 years, various attempts have been made at making battery-powered vehicles mainstream. But slow and laborious charging methods and higher prices historically steered away many drivers. Americans like the idea of electric vehicles, but electric cars have a real handicap, and it's they have to have batteries. And batteries have been the problem, getting enough range from the battery getting enough power from the battery to get the kind of performance that people demand. And uh, in the past, with the lead-acid battery, the costs weren't too bad, but the performance was. With the new lithium-ion batteries, performance is becoming very good, but the battery costs as much as the rest of the car. Industry experts agree that if battery-powered vehicles are to one day replace fuel-driven cars, they must offer advantages beyond those seen today. Simply attempting to re-engine conventional cars and leaving the infrastructure essentially unchanged may not be enough to transform the automotive industry. Instead, the key to unlocking the potential of battery-powered vehicles may just lie in versatility. A modular vehicle, which allows an automobile's chassis to be interchanged with different bodies, could be the answer to the problems of today's electric vehicle. Conceived in 1997 as a way to easily and quickly exchange the battery in electric vehicles, the concept has evolved into a whole new species of automobile called the Rydec. Rydec is a quick change modular vehicle. And the significance of it is that it allows separate ownership of the two parts. The two parts are the MODEC, which contains the works, uh, it's short for motorized deck, and the RIDE-ON, which rides on it, which uh, is where the passengers and any cargo would be. And the fact that you can have separate ownership is, is very significant and can't be matched by a non-modular vehicle. It's rather like the stagecoach, insofar as the stagecoach you, had, you could change horses and extend the range. And the idea of the Rydec was you could change Modex just as you change horses and you'd extend the range. The benefits of a vehicle like the Rydec hold widespread implications for both individual consumers as well as industries such as mass transportation and the trucking and delivery sectors. I see the Rydec catching on first with fleets. If the fleets are in place and the exchange stations are in place, then perhaps individuals. But uh, the concept as it is now solves the range problem. And to me, the obvious fleet would be a taxi fleet. The shape of the vehicle is already extremely well suited to be a taxi. The space within the vehicle is very good for the footprint of the vehicle. It uh, doesn't take a lot of space and it carries a lot. And you can combine the, the taxi stand with uh, the Rydec uh, replacement module stand, and uh, I think it could make a very good package. Battery-powered vehicle is not going to be a success unless we can get a range of about 300 miles and we can charge it very quickly, just as quickly as you charge the gas tank with gasoline. 
but the battery is contained in a separate module of this vehicle, a module called the modec. And it, by changing the modec, it's equivalent to changing the battery. And so you can have a fully charged battery in a modec and change that for the existing modec, and the change can be done just as quickly as filling with gasoline, perhaps more quickly. And this standardization is a key to the success of the Rydec, just as much as it was a key to the success of the container industry, which actually changed the world. The Rydec, a better plan for a better place. To find out more, please visit rydec.com.